and to everyone here, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to this webinar entitled Enhancing GIS Applications by Integrating Multi-Source 3D Data. I'm sure by our webinars today, every attendees will gain much knowledge about Supermap 3D GIS technology and what we can done by integrating multi-source 3D data. So before I jump start for our events today, let us hear some opening remarks from Dr. Zakara Hashim, the senior lecturer and also the head of the study, Center of Study from Park and Amenity Management UITM. Dr. Zakaria, the floor is yours. All right, thank you very much. Uh, by the way, Assalamualaikum uh, warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. I can I can open my uh, video. I don't know why, uh, because uh, I I hope that the host can uh, uh, allow me to open up my video so that I can uh, be myself on the screen. Alright. Anyway, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh, and very good morning uh, to all of you. Uh, thank you to each and every one uh, of the participants. I can see that uh, today we have uh, around the globe right, the participants for uh, our webinar today for enhancing GIS application by integrating multi-source 3D data. So before we get started, I would like to express my sincere appreciation uh, to all of you for your support, uh, particularly to Supermed Asia and Oceania and also our department, Center of Studies for Park and Amenity, for organizing uh, this uh, webinar. And in today's webinar, I was made to understand that uh, Supermap Malaysia will provide a live demonstration on the advancement of 3D technology and its application in GIS, which is, I think, it, this one is very useful. Right? Uh, so through this webinar, we can see that uh, Supermap 3D technology Participants will get a detailed insight in how to combine diverse uh, source of 3D data, such as oblique uh, photogrammetry, BIM, terrain, water body, pipeline, and more into one 3D views. And uh, well, I don't want to take too much of your time because I think uh, this session is going to be fun and uh, useful to all of us. And once again, thank you very much for listening and let us welcome our speakers. Ms. Anis Farhana and Ms. Najih Hayaya. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Thank you, Dr. Zakara, for those inspiring words. We are also delighted to be in partnership with you in spreading the GIS knowledge. So next, we will be moving forward to our topics for today's webinar. We are going to have two presentations for today. If you have any questions while listening to the speakers, Please feel free to type in the chat box below. Our team members will answer the question as soon as possible. So before we start, let us watch a Supermap introduction video.
So now that you already know about five key technology of SuperMap GIS, which we call BitDC, BitDC, which stands for Big Data GIS, Artificial Intelligent GIS, Three Dimensional GIS, Distributed GIS, and Cross Platform GIS. So based on our topic for today's webinar, let's look deeper about our 3D GIS technology with Ms. Anis Farhanal, our Business Development Employee of Supermap Asia and Oceania Center. Ms. Anis, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Gary Bell. Okay, hello and good afternoon, everyone. So I am Anis from Supernet Asia and Oceania Center. And thank you all for attending. So today I will be sharing with you on enhancing the GIS application by iterating much for 3D data. So first, uh, let me talk briefly about Supernet. So Supernet software is the innovative GIS platform software and service provider. It was founded in 1997 in Beijing by Professor Zhong Eishun. So the most important master is that Supermat was the first listed GIS software company in China in 2009. So now Supermat has become one of the largest GIS platform manufacturers in the world. So in Supermat, we focus on providing innovative GIS platform software and solutions for various industries such as the smart city, land management, real estate, urban planning, and so on. So we had involved in the development of GIS software in more than 22 years. So now Supermat has more than 4,000 employees with annual revenue growth of over 30%. So by now Supermat has successfully entered Asia, Europe, Africa, South America, and other countries and regions, and has developed distributed and partner from over 30 countries and end users from over 100 countries. And we have established 38 branches of this all around the world. So these are the industry that need GIS. So Supermat has successfully provided solutions for all of these industries. So anything that need location, measurement, or hotspot area and the central should apply GIS in their services. So these are the partners that we have. So in Malaysia, we have one partner, which is SMI. And then for the client, we have Japan and Sarawak Energy for the government agency. So now our most relevant technology 3D GIS for the main topic today. So let's start with our Supermat 3D history. So with the continuous development of various stories and technologies such as the GIS technology, computer technology, computer graphics, virtual reality technology, and surveying technology, 3D GIS has gradually become one of the mainstream directions of GIS research. So Supermat has gone through more than 10 years on the road of 3D GIS technology research and innovation. So in 2009, 2D and 3D integration GIS basic software was first proposed and released. So since then, many technical problems have been overcome and a wealth of technical achievement has been released. So in 2017, a brand new 3D GIS technology system was also proposed for the first time. Okay, so this is the system for our 3D GIS technology. So based on the 2D and 3D integrated GIS technology, we further expand the spatial data model and analysis capabilities. So we integrate the multiple heterogeneous data such as BIM or big photography model, laser point data, 3D field data, and so on, and fulfill 3D standard system, including the spatial 3D model data format S2M and the spatial 3D model data service interface. So based on the distributed geoprocessing tool, we realize the full process management of manual modeling data, BIM, object photography model data, laser points data, 3D terrain, and other 3D data. So through integration of IT technologies, such as the WebGL, VR, AI, 3D printing, and etc., we can, in collaboration with the game engine, Supermat GIS for a more realistic and convenient 3D experience, enhancing the capability of digital 3D construction and empowering the new application of 3D GIS. So now let's start with the 2D and 3D integration model. 
Pas tu komen expand and define the 3D data model. So CIM and both the grid and other few models on the daily stage. Traditional 2D GIS data model such as point, line, polygon, grid, CIN, and network, and a central. So that it promotes the integrated expression in sky or underground and also underground and actual application of 3D GIS in universal space. So based on the 2D and 3D integration data model, 3D solid data model is proposed to solve the issue of abstraction and analysis of discrete and homogeneous 3D solid space. So team and also grid are developed to overcome the difficulty of abstraction and analysis of continuous and non-homogeneous 3D space. So from the core level of GIS basic platform, Extending dimension of partial data model is realized from 2D to 3D, from plain network to 3D network, from scene to scene, and from plain grid to voxel grid. So it forms a complete partial data model system covering the discrete objects and continuous space and achieves the universal partial expression for real world. So it not only improves the theoretical system of 3D GIS, and promote the development of that to a deeper and more practical direction, but also extend the connotation of 3D GIS. So this is the example by using the word circuit. So in science analysis, as shown here, of open study, so the result can be represented by using the cube weight. But you said that the red for the long function duration and the blue for the short function duration. So according to the value of each grid, it can check the internal result according to the dynamic filter. So the grid division is relatively coarse, so it looks like a small cube. And then also, grid also can be used to represent the air pollution field for more refined expression. So meanwhile, the dynamic filter can select areas with serious pollution so as to express air pollution status as partial distributed more directly. So our platform, SuperMap platform, support the conversion between 3D objects and voxel grid. So 3D objects could be voxelized to voxel grid, and voxel grid also can be converted into 3D objects by extracting the isotopes. So let's move on with the 2D and 3D integration analysis. So SuperMap offer a different 3D spatial analysis function based on GPU or data in order to meet the practical needs of GIS industry for 3D spatial analysis, including the view shape analysis, uh, view analysis, shadow rate statistics, final analysis, profile analysis, and etc. So meanwhile, SuperMed GIS support your real time spatial theory and relationship judgment based on the analysis result of 3D models. So our platform support GPU-based spatial relationship theory and judgment. So in this following video, the red colored object are uh, outside the skyline, and then the yellow colored object are inside the skyline, which is our theory range. So, this is another example of 3D spatial analysis. So, as you can see, we have visibility analysis, shadow analysis, skyline analysis, and openness analysis. So, here is the massive of 3D data integration, and we will expose it on how this can help to enhance your GIS application. So with the rapid development of data acquisition technology, there are more and more to this partial data from different sources. So how to realize efficient integration of multiple data and improve the use efficiency of special data has become a big challenge. So by integrating multiple data, such as public photography model, BIM, and the point cloud, with traditional multiple so multiple data such as the image, vector, terrain, uh, fine model, and other ground pipeline. So for my explore the effective integration method of multiple data and improve the, the data utilization. So based on the 2D and 3D integration GIS technology system, so for my GIS integrates the object photography model, EIM, as a point cloud and other 3D data in order to overcome the key technology of perfect integration in 3D GIS platform and reduce the construction cost of GIS application system and improve the use of efficiency of spatial data. So I will explain each of the multiple data. So let's start with point cloud. So with the extensive development of 3D laser point cloud technology, so 
to combat software platform support a variety of laser point code data format, such as the .las, .csv, .xyz, .cly, .lz, and etc. So you can relate the fast loop and smooth display of high precision laser point cloud data. So meanwhile, you can set the color table and generate the DSM in order to meet the requirement of the user. And then manual modeling data is to digitize the handmade model in the real world or establish the model data by the corresponding software such as 3D Max and Maya to realize the expression for the real world. So the step generally include the first making the building frame and then attaching the textile photograph on site and then supplement by the effect of light and shadow. So for the 3D terrain data, it can enhance the speciality based on the early 2D digital terrain map and make it richer and more vivid. So that is to say that natural geography form will be displayed through the horizontal and vertical 3D coordinates. So which fully reflects the mapping area and also express the tri-dimensional character. So to connect, use the export plugins and conversion tools to realize the seamless cross domain connection of geology and GIS data interface. So this video shows the time-space relationship between the location of the shield machine and the surrounding cast development in the subway tunnel project. And the important safety hazard nodes are discovered and can be in advance. So by using what's so it can also express the geological attribute field. So it can support sectioning in X, Y, Z direction. It can also support grid value for three and dynamic display in the attribute field. For the underground pipe network, uh, it's a kind of important data in GIS applications. So we have the characteristic of wide range and high density. So to connect for a 3D line symbol, it contacts uh, various 3D pipelines by setting various files and making thematic maps. So according to the topological relationship between nodes and connected pipelines, a universal 3D pipe point model such as elbow, E, cross, can be automatically constructed. And the 3D pipe point model can be connected with the 3D pipeline model. So for the object photography automation modeling technology, is high and new technology of surveying field, so it developed in the recent years. So many sensor services of same aircraft collect images from various vertical and object angles at the same time. So oblique photography model data was generated by automatic batch modeling. So it has high accuracy, high efficiency, high sense of reality, and the absolute advantage of low cost, which make the technology become important data source for the 3D GIS. So in 2015, SuperMap support the OSCB data of oblique photography model and provide a virtual dynamic monomer technology. So that it achieves the model monomer expression and the further application of GIS, including the attribute theory, SQL theory, buffer theory, thematic map expression, and flatten or grounding. So it offers a comprehensive support for the application of oblique photography model data. So SuperMap also provides a dynamic and visual construction separation technology. So based on deep learning by using the SuperMap AI technology, we extract the bottom polygon of each construction, and then by referring to the ground polygon, we can select and highlight each single construction, theory the create thematic map, and do buffer analysis. So the universal series of SuperMap GIS products support orbit photography model data, including server, desktop, object, web, and mobile terminal. So the first terminal advantage bring broader and diversified development potential for the application of orbit photography model GIS. So this is an example for the integration between video and orbit photography. So with the continuous development of technology, the monitoring service and cameras are in every corner of the city. So and then they generate a large number of real-time monitoring video every day, which contain a rich information. So in SuperMap, video data and orbit photography model data are integrated so as to utilize the massive video information effectively and realize the real-time information updates of monitoring area. 
So other than uh, the integration between video data and object photography, so Panda also support the integration between object photography and mosaic code, object photography and mosaic twin, object photography with BIM, and object photography with the street view. So another integration that supported by Supermap is for BIM. So we can integrate BIM with water, IoT, Internet of Things, and also 3D terrain. So now what is BIM? So BIM is actually stands for building information modeling. So it takes the relevant information data of building engineering projects as the model basis and record the geometry and attribute information of building components in detail. So it presents data in the form of 3D models. So there are many BIM software, but the file formats are different. So in order to break through the bottleneck of BIM data access to the ZS software platform, Supermax has developed a data export plugin for BIM software, such as Bentley, Autodesk Video 3D, Tecla, and imported them into Supermax. So meanwhile, it can support import of the interchange format ISP. So by deepening strategic cooperation with BIM related company, Supermax support the direct opening of Revit, Satya, SketchUp, and other data in the form of data sources. So the close connection between BIM and GIS data is achieved. So in order to Microsoft data integration and maintain in 3D coordinate transformation should be firstly carried out. So it can unify BIM, object photography model, point cloud, and other GIS data into one coordinate system. So to permit provide coordinate transmission service for various 3D data, including model, grid, image, point cloud, object photography model, and etc. So if the data coordinates are unknown, 3D data creation can be used to match the data. So if unifying to a coordinate system, it can only solve the problem of plane. So due to the different accuracy of data, most of them are divided into the Z coordinates. So it is necessary to process the data. So this video shows the integration of BIM with oblique photography, 3D terrain, image, and other geography data. So the status of the VIDA under construction and the work site, as well as the terrain around, it is physically in just one platform. Okay, so now let me talk about the 3D model data standard. We call it as uh, S3M. So S3M is a data format that's suitable for massive 3D model data transmission. So it meets the need of user for 3D data transmission and re resolution on different terminal, which is mobile, web, and also desktop, to an efficient, scalable, and collaborative data specification. So the main feature and advantages of S3M, so it can support uh, multiple data, it can also support the efficient mapping of massive data. It can be simple format and easy to transfer. It can support for monomer theory. It can quickly load in the graphic card, the cross terminal. It can be complete the supporting sensitivities and have a good scalability. So this video shows the rapid generation of 3D model data in S3M format by using the DJI UAV and DJI V2 modeling software. So, and then it can be browsed and displayed on the SuperMap GIS platform. Okay, now it's about 3D iteration and output. So with the increased usage, the increase of user requirement for visualization effects, the 3D WebGL client has eight uh, custom light source effects such as points, directional lights, and spotlights on the original basis. So it also provides the 3D spatial effects such as the dynamic texture and flash illumination. So based on the this post-processing effect, users can create a urban urban night city effect. And then Superman also has added a physically based rendering PBR material and a number of spatial effects such as the transparent rendering. So at the same time, the particle spatial effect system was optimized to build, to build a more realistic firework, flame, quantity effects, gases, and also water. So our 3D can be viewed by using the WebGL, by using the CR, 
AR, and also by using the mobile application as well. So right now, Supermax GIS has newly researched the Supermax Team SPK for game engine. So the platform is provided in the form of object. So the Supermax Pro plugin is used to load and display GIS data on game engine. So it relies the integration of data production, data management, data analysis, and data publishing. So the Supermax Pro plugin is a plugin tool in game engine editor that's on the Supermax SDK for game engine. So it, it has a friendly and easy to use interface and support a variety of messages that has special data, such as image, terrain, orbit photography model, manual model, and BIM. So local and online browsing, layer control, theory, special analysis, and other tools are also provided. So last but not least, I will show a few typical applications for the Supermax 3D GIS technology. Okay, so these are the data that we need. So you can have the business data, or the photography data, and other geospatial data. So and then you can import the into the Supermax GIS platform. And then it can be used for all of this industry, including the smart city, surveying, agriculture, military, and so on. So this is another example. It is a government bank. So this one can be used to search for the land information. And then we also have the smart community. So this one is the integration between street view and also object photography and 3D, 3D model. And then we also have the traffic planning and design. Okay, so I want to talk about how integration between BIM and GIS can be applied. So we can involve in the planning phase, which is the site analysis or for the planning approval or project demonstration. And then we also get involved in the construction phase. So as you can see the construction schedule simulation, construction organization, and also simulation. And then maintenance phase can be used for the delivery completion model, maintenance plan, asset management, and disaster emergency simulation in a central. So I will show a few systems for this part. So this one is the planning application system. So you can involve in the above ground space verification, above underground elevation, regulation range box, and also above underground building range. Okay, let's see how we can create the open new planning. Okay, so this is the 3D model that we have created by using the Microsoft 3D data. And then from this as well, you can also view the indoor plane like this. So this one can be used for the DIN as well. And then for the construction management project, for the application, we have the large scale construction management project. So for the business, uh, it can be used for the video monitoring, television consultation, and also labor monitoring and process regulatory. It can be for environmental monitoring and also equipment monitoring. And then for the BIM operation platform, so it's suitable for the maintenance management of super high rise building. So we can provide the daily operation, the sensitive command, equipment operation, and also scheduling the policy. Now for the pipeline project, it's for the design and management of urban integrated pipeline. So the tools that we have the excavation analysis, the flow analysis, pipe worker analysis, and road intersection analysis. And then for BIM and CIM, so CIM is there for CC information modeling. So it can be used for equipment site, for the facility maintenance, for energy consumption and analysis and optimization. So this energy consumption can come from gases, water or electricity, and also the security facilities integration. And then the last one is for natural resource space management. So you can have the to display the natural resource space layout, a book, ground and other ground integrated management ecological regular line distribution and the last one for the real estate management. Okay, so I will just um, briefly introduce about our product. So this is the product family of Supermap. 
So we have many kind of terminal product that are cloud, it, PC, web, CIS, and also mobile. So in the cloud JS platform, we have three products. So the first one is the Superman I server. So it is a cloud JS server that can serve partial operations. For example, serve the map service, the data service, geo processing service, and so on. So the other is Superman I manager. So it used for creating. Uh, managing Supermac Cloud JS application. So in this context, is to manage the Supermac I portal and Supermac I server. And now for Supermac I portal, it can unify the access point for resources, and it is possible for hosting the front end portal as well as managing the JS resources. And then for the desktop, we have two kinds, which is I desktop and I desktop X. So for I desktop X, we focus on the machine, so you can use the coding here which is Python, C++, or Java. And then for the, the mobile, so Superman iTable is already built by Superman, so you can download directly um, by using the App Store or Google Play Store. So this one we focus on the data creation, so it can be used for AR technology. And then for iMobile, we focus on the mobile development platform. Okay, I think that's all for me. So thank you all for your time and attention. Okay, Kelly, well, thank you. Okay. For our second and last topic, Ms. Najiha Yahaya, our technical engineer of Supermap Asia and Oceania Center, will be presenting to us an online demonstrations of enhancing GIS applications by integrating multi-source 3D data using Supermap 3D GIS technology. Ms. Najiha, the floor is yours. All right, thank you, Claribel, for the introduction. So let me share my screen first, okay? All right, everyone. So let me just share. Okay, so hi, everyone. My name is Najiha Yaya from uh, that Superman Malaysia. So today I will show you about four maps that consist of geological bodies, network analysis, 3D effect that Ms. Anis had presented earlier, and also for integrated 2D into 3D. So let us start first with the geological bodies first. So in this uh, tutorial, I will just use the Superman i desktop 10i, but you can just uh, use other software, which is 10x. And also 10. now we have the 10.2 uh, Superman i desktop. So today, I will show you on how to integrate this, the body areas for geological bodies to see the 3Ds. So first and foremost, first you have to we have the data source that we have to analyze first. So this is a tutorial that shows uh, pebbles, clay, cores, uh, planting soil, and also our start point, which is our boundary. So from here, we actually see, in order for us to see the 3D, uh, 3D data from the boundaries, okay? So first and foremost, you need to uh, analyze and let all the, the, the data uh, more on the screen. Sorry. Can you see my screen? Right, okay. So from here, you can see all the data points for the data that you have been collected in the field or the other software that you have yeah, collected. So from now, the points that you have to, know, uh, to do is to make a boundary in order to see the study area that you are going to uh, plant it to use. So first, you need to do the new data sets and change the geologic uh, data source into polygon. So this is the first step that you need to do in order to change it into uh, region and also to see the data in a 3D form. Right, I will just name the, bound, uh, the study area as boundary for us to see the study area. So click create in order for us to see the geological bodies. Okay, first of all, 
Next, we need to uh, analyze the properties, which is the coordinate first. We need to align the coordinate in order for us to see the 3D uh, data can be analyzed and see the perspective of the region itself. So you have to change the first point are in planar coordinate. So you have to change the coordinate in terms of to any coordinate that you are using in the Supermap I desktop. So from here, you can see I changing the data set so that it will be in this uh, USGS form. And then so now our data are on the same coordinate level. And then from here, you need to add these all the boundaries to the current map that you are using that you are projecting in order for us to draw the boundaries uh, by using the region digitizing method. So first, uh, in Supermap, we can actually see there are two options that you can use, which is the region. Uh, so it will automatically uh, draw it for you. So here is one of the examples that I choose. So this is some sort of like a very small boundary areas that I will just show you to you in this tutorial. So you need to uh, click first all the region that you are needed in uh, to make a, some sort of like a box area. So in Supermap tools, the if you choose the region platform, it will automatically draw you a square hop. Okay, so I have draw the boundaries to see the 3D geological bodies that consist of pebble, clay, coarse, planting soils. Okay, uh, it, after you have digitized the area, it will buffer for a while, but not in a long time. So it will read the case in a after you have been digitized the region. All right, it was buffering for a while. Okay, so after this, you have to uh, go after you have uh, draw the region. Go to the three D data tab and select geological bodies under the function under geo body menu. Okay, so this is the geologic bodies. So the data order will affect the, ge the geo body result. So the data that is on top must be positioned first. So as we know, the geological bodies have their own uh, layers of soil, right? So we have to analyze the data according to our position first. So in this tutorial, we have to change the order refers to for example, here, the this is all the data set that we have to change in order for us to see the sequence of the data. So from here, you can exchange the position by clicking the option here. For example, here, you want the start point to be above and then going on to the planting soil, coarse, clay and pebbles. So this can be varies based on your data, whether you want it to be which one will be on top and, and, and also which one to be in the middle and so on. So uh, other than that, we can also change the color scheme based on the geological body rock color, uh, based on the union colors of rocks in the map. So I will show you first, it was perfect for a while. Okay, so from here, you can change the color scheme by clicking the custom button and uh, choose your desired color based on your data. And every color layers can be changed by double clicking on the layers to change each color. So for this tutorial, I will just show the basic color, which is red, yellow, green, purple, and blue. Uh, to differentiate to differentiate every different of layers in the three D model. So 
from here, you can just double clicking on each every layers that you wanted and change the colors. Let me finish, change the color first. So this color can be very space on your data. So there's no harm on restricted to any colors actually. So here is the example and then click OK. The geo body result uh, will be in the form of data set will appear under the geology data source. And then you can just portray them in the 3D projections. So after we have clicked the OK button, it will process the data for a while. And then from that, we have we can project it in 3D form. Okay. In order for us to see the data in a 3D form, you need to allow it uh, by clicking the right click and add to new spherical face, new spherical scenes, and then the result will appear as 3D. So here is, and then you need to zoom to layer and it will appear something like this. This is based only for the boundary that I have been created in the videos. So this is one of the example, the multi-integrated data that we can be used in order for us to see the 3D data for the study area at the geological bodies. So moving on to the network analysis. Ms. Anis had shown some sort of like a network analysis that we can see the path of our pipeline and so. So in this tutorial, I will show you the example of Chang Chun uh, database map where where it will show the intersection of uh, each stations and also the shortest pathway uh, for every station that I have uh, that we will do later. So first, uh, as the same step before, open the file and then put the Changchun data in the data source. Okay, for network analysis, we have to choose the traffic analysis menu and then click on the network by topology. So from here, you can see actually the 2D data from the network. We can also project it in 3D. But in this tutorial, I will just show you the 2D data first. So it will be, appear something like this uh, in the data. So this data can be very based on your study area or your work or your project. Uh, based on the, this is the same uh, shape file or the other software that you can use and then projected it in the so, uh, Supermap iDesktop. So for example, here we wanted to see the road net uh, by projecting the line so we can see the station. So we can actually split the lines at intersection and then you can just click in order for us to see every lines in the inter intersection of Changchun areas. So it will buffer for a while to read the data. This is very important. Uh, this is very useful for us to see, for example, the pipeline analysis and also the network analysis. The network analysis can also be used, for example, if you wanted to see uh, which road is the fastest to go to the certain areas, you can see the shortest distance, the fastest time, the lowest and the lowest cost that we need to add the area, something something like that. So we can vary the data that we wanted based on the network analysis. So from here you can see the all the data from Changchun network air stations. And then for a short while, I will just show you the projection of the Changchun network in 2D. So right click and choose to add to a new map for us to see the 2D data. It will be buffered for a while just based on your network 
at the time at the time so you can just click yes to progress the data even more faster and then it will create the spatial index as this result okay so this is the result for the Changchun network so as you can see we can big we can vary the data as big as we can as small as you can as detailed as you can based on the data that we have so in supermap i desktop we can project the network analysis based on our projection, our desire. So for here, I will show you the optimum path analysis where it will use to find the path in certain order. For example, if you want to, uh, for example, in this tutorial, I will show you to find the way that uh, within the four points, four station that I will digitize later, and then to project it uh, the shortest pathway and to see the intersection between all the stations. So Imagine that you have the data sent data, so for example, the Wi-Fi data. So you can see the network for analysis and you can project it to see which areas have the very high uh, usage of that uh, Wi-Fi data and the one that use very low data storage. So from here, I will just digitize the station by clicking uh, the run button and choose the station that near to my uh, my areas so the optimal path analysis uh, can be varies based on your data for example you can see time cost traffic condition and also the for example i think it's a uh, art directions so for here i will just click to any session that I wanted to see the intersection and also the pathway of the station in between of four stations. So I have clicked about four stations and then run all the data in order for, for it to read in the optimal path analysis. So in network, path analysis the parameter there are several menus that can be adjusted so you can setting it for example the setting node so you can have the edge statistics you can even put statistic when uh, data here for example on one data can project on every data so that is the network analysis so sorry for the past videos so this is uh, the third map miss anis has shown you the 3D effect, right? So I will show you the 3D effects. For example, here in this tutorial is the water effects. So in Supermap, we can have the particle effects. We can have fires, we can have fireworks, we can have water movements, and also shadow movement. So from here, you can actually uh, project your 3D data in a very beautiful way. For example, here, I enable the visible sunlight yeah, you can adjust the sunlight wherever you want it. So this is some sort of like an example for the 3D data in what have Miss Anis had presented to you. So from that, you can add a lot of uh, 3D effects for that. So in this tutorial, I will show you the water effects where we can adjust the water effects. For example, if we wanted it to be faster, slower, stagnant movement, and also we can have a shadow effects on the our 3D data. So from here, you can see the shadow data from uh, the buildings that are in this tutorial. Okay, so in the click, on, for example, here you want to see the water, water example, right? The water movement. So just click the water uh, on the, and choose the 3D field. So in Supermap, we actually have this some sort like uh, features that you can choose. So in this uh, example here, I wanted to choose uh, the water movement in a lake, for example, I think it's a lake. So in a slow motion, so it can be projected in a very beautiful way. You can also uh, adjust it for here, you have buildings, we have fireworks. So all of it can be projected uh, based on your features and all the data can be added based on the, the features are all in Supermap iDesktop. So 
So let me just show it back to you, the result of our water movement particles effects. So as you can see here, you can see some sort like a movement and shadow effects uh, on the buildings. So every urban planning can be projected in a 3D form where you can plan the areas even more ahead future. So you can project it in a very horizontal or vertical ways that you wanted. So as you can see here, the water movement are there to show the water particles. So last but not least, we will have, I will show you the tutorial on how to integrate the 2D data. For example, if we have a shape file on the data and then we have the image of the, we have the, uh, the proper map image of the area, right? So we can actually di uh, digitize the buildings by using the only 2D data in order for us to see uh, 3D projection. So here is the example of, first and foremost, in this tutorial, we have to create a new data source in order for, for some sort of like a shape file. So first you have to add your image and also your uh, reference point shape file first, and then it will buffer. Okay. So this step is very important for us to register first uh, the data. So click the start button and then register and then under the new registrations. And then we can see uh, the data in the, so on your left hand side is the image and on your right hand side if is the point shape file. So you have to click in order for us to get the Okay, click all the four points in order for us to get the RMSE, the calculation result. The calculation result, uh, if the calculation result is under one pixel, it will be more better to see the results and it will be more faster to see the building in a 3D form way. Okay, new data set will be created under the digitization data source. And then uh, you need to click the new heaven. For example, here is the new heaven areas. To, and then uh, click to add the two maps. And then you have to synchronize the coordinate first. As you can see here. And then you can change. Uh, you can have to digitize the areas. For example, you have to build up a new building areas. And then uh, enable the editing edit by the clicking the pencils. And then you can set the color tolerance, for example, 50 in these videos. And then you can zoom in. For example, here is the example of the building, right? So you can just click the building as fast as you can. So you don't need to digitize on every areas for us to see the buildings. So just click it one, one areas and it will automatically digitize it for you. So here uh, we are going to analyze the height attributes. So we can see, for example, I wanted it to be 100 uh, meters, 100 centimeters, for example. So after we have digitized and, uh, and add the height information, we can see actually the data and also we can add the texture file so it can be projected in a very beautiful way. So after we have digitized, so this is the example on how you want to digitize the buildings and then change it into altitude for height in order for it to see the height data which I have been converted to 100 meter, centimeters before. So this one is uh, just a, to see the projections in a very beautiful way. So you can add a texture, 3D texture. So the data here, for example, we can have image and then choose our own data so that the building that we have been digitized could be 
projected in a maybe in a proper way to see. So we have this is an example of some sort like a building that I have digitized and can be shown to you. So this is how Supermap I desktop the easy ways to digitize the data. And then we can actually see the one of the strength for Supermap I desktop is you can actually see the 3D analysis even on uh, pictures, even we can see in the pipeline analysis. And also, so here is the result. After as simple as to digitize it like that. So I think that's all for me. Thank you so much. Thank you for hearing me. I'm so sorry for the chatter. So thank, uh, that's all for me, I think. Very well. Thank you. Wow, that's just incredible. Thank you very much, Ms. Najiha, for sharing with us the demonstrations of Supermap 3D GIS technology by integrating multi-source 3D data. And there we have it. Our speaker had just given us a comprehensive presentation of Supermap GIS geospatial approach to 3D GIS by integrating multi-source 3D data. We hope that this has sparked your curiosity because we are happy to announce that we will be offering a free three-month trial license and certificates for attendance to our participants here. If you have any questions and concerns, just send us a message or an email as you can see from the slide here. So to cap off our event for today, let us hear some closing remarks from Dr. Rabiatu Adawiya, the academic coordinator of UITM Police Academic and senior lecturer from Park and Amenity Management. Dr. Rabiatu, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Ms. Fahana. Thank you, MC. Thank you, Ms. Najiha. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I teach GIS uh, in uh, Center of Studies for Animity Management. In my opinion, the presentation was very precise and insightful. Uh, I'm sure all of us uh, in this webinar agree that the talk is very informative and useful uh, on behalf of uh, Center of Studies for Animity Management and Faculty of Architecture, Planning and Surveying. Uh, thank you all for making time in your busy schedules to join us here this afternoon. Um, we wish you all pleasant day. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rabiatu. We are equally thankful for this opportunity to be partner with you in this webinar. And also, thank you so much, everyone. We highly appreciate your attendance today. Please feel free to visit the Supermap website to get more information about the company. We also wanted to invite you all to follow Supermap GIS on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on, because we are constantly posting about the latest GIS trends and what Supermap is currently up to. So lastly, for additional information, Supermap is also currently looking for partners and resellers and distributors to expand business in Malaysia. Please feel free to visit our website and connect with us via Supermap Malaysia Facebook page or email, which you can saw in the slide here. We have Ms. Anis and Ms. Najiha email address. Superman will also hold more webinars on more topics soon, and we hope to collaborate with more universities in Malaysia. These are all the info for webinar collaborations and Supermap individual package. Feel free to contact us if you have any concern or questions. Again, thank you for attending this webinar. We really appreciate your time and attention. Hope you all enjoy it, and most important, Get new knowledge about enhancing GIS application by integrating multi-source 3D data using Supermap technology. Also, don't forget to answer the feedback form, which you can find in the chat box below, so that we can bring you a more improved webinar experience in the future. And for your trial license and certificates, it will be sent in a few days via email. So please stay tuned for it. Hope you all, hope to see you all again soon. Thank you and goodbye.